It's a mission few know about, but thousands have benefited from. A Minnesota operation a world away in Central America. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how a Mendota Heights couple quietly and humbly changed lives. Mendota Heights, just east of the Mississippi. It's where Lulu Daly, a nurse, and Peter Daly, an orthopedic surgeon, grew their family. A family they never dreamed would grow into this half a world away. It's a story that starts back in 2003. The family had big intentions, but small amounts of time. We always wanted to do medical missions, but then we had kids, and then, and then um, his practice took off. But then, about you know, 15 years into that, we said, no, we really want to do this. They found this children's home in Honduras, where the whole family could serve together. That's when they met an orphan named Angela, who would change their lives and thousands of others too. Her legs were crossed and she couldn't walk. She was in a wheelchair. She was nine years old. Peter could not take care of her there. He didn't have the facility. He didn't have the equipment. He couldn't do that. So we decided to bring her home and, and he operated on her and several surgeries and um, straightened her legs and she lived with us for a year. When they took her back, young Angela made one request to Lulu. I asked her to just stay here with me. Angela was what grabbed our hearts to want to be with her, you know, since she was now a part of our family. So we used the tools that we know. We know surgery and nursing and medicine. And so we said, well, let's do something related to that on this children's home with her. And what they did, you'll have to see to believe. And we have a state of the art, you know, first world healthcare, surgical center, and clinic in the middle of an austere area that provides care even when we're not there. They turned this makeshift clinic at Angela's orphanage into this specialty surgery center, helping patients with spine surgeries, orthopedic surgeries, cancer surgeries, and general surgeries too. If I were told this story, I wouldn't believe it. Dr. Merlin Antonez grew up in the children's home too. He's now one of 40 local employees at the One World Surgery Center. And hospitals all over Minnesota donated gently used equipment to provide world-class health care for free in a country where most people live in poverty on one to two dollars a day. The impact is like real, it's tangible, uh, and people cannot believe it. I can tell you millions of stories. Stories like this one. A young man who was shot and walked on crutches for two years. After a surgery, his walk is more of a jog, playing soccer again. And Jenny, her feet were completely turned around. She had to crawl on her knees. Now, for the first time, the 13-year-old can walk. It's about service. It's about uh, willing to help others. It's just like uh, answering some prayers of some patients. Uh, a tone set by Dr. Daly is he and volunteers from Minnesota flood the clinic weekly to help with surgeries and set up on-site teaching fellowships with the U. He's so selfless. That's why he was devastated to hear that the doctor who's healed so many is now a patient. Um, it was tough. Um, you don't want your superheroes to be sick. Dr. Daly found out in January he has a rare form of lymphoma. Does it change your perspective in any way on, on life and healing and health? It does. I mean, when you get, when you kind of get a glimpse of your mortality, yeah. <laughs> you know, it slows you down for sure. He's on chemo and facing a bone marrow transplant, still practicing medicine in Minnesota while growing a new surgery center in the Dominican Republic, forever focused on others like Angela. I thought that I will be forever in the wheelchair. She's now 29, walking tall and training to be a surgery tech at One World. And I always say to her, I said, you know, because you were brave enough to have this surgery, because if it wasn't for her, Thousands and thousands and thousands of people wouldn't be helped. A humble family on a mission in sickness and in health. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. The dailies host thousands of families on week-long mission trips. From cooking to cleaning to playing soccer with kids, they invite all families to come help out for a week. If you're interested in a mission trip, 
We have information on WCCO.com.